This <laughs> little puppy, eh? Cool. There is, look how tiny this little boy is. Ah, uh, I love puppies, but they grow old to be dogs. <laughs> Damn. What's up, people? This is Bonja. Mickey. And crying Enzo. We're still in uh, Cachauta here. Look how beautiful this little town is. You come here on the side of the road, beside the Andes Mountains. Have a nice little beer, coffee. You have all the little crafts and arts here. Um, they have all the same kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But we're gonna cross this bridge. This is Puente Colgante Cauchetta. So we're gonna try to climb this bridge with baby Enzo. You're gonna do it with Enzo in your arms? Yeah, he wants, he wants to be there. All right, let's go, Peppa. Uh, we should uh, actually just leave our buggy somewhere, huh? Yeah, you can leave it here. Yeah, we'll just leave it right here because there's no need to bring it all the way across. And uh, this is the bridge, basically. Do you want to bring your money? Yeah. Look at the view. So. The view is incredible. And that's the one that carries electricity. It used to be a railroad bridge, that one. A suspension, a railroad, but it carries the gas and the waters and all that kind of stuff. But look how beautiful and incredible this is. Whew. And it's shaky, baby, shaky. Woo! No, come cool. on, let's go, let's go. Hell no, it's crazy, man. It's so crazy. Someone is broken. La concha de tu madre. Basta. Basta. Basta, la concha de tu madre. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is where. Uh, my new character Graffiti Gary would come in and tag up this bridge. This is Boncho. Subscribe now. Yeah. Well, the iron is hot. Look at this. Oh, hi. Oh, yes, man. This is a perfect bridge that if you want to commit suicide off of, you would just hit the ground and live, you know? And then you have all life in a wheelchair to think about why you did that. Wow. What an amazing time. That would be now. That's a vlog. I ain't that kind of vlogger though. Oh, look at these guys. This town, I tell you, it's full of, full of, full of, full of, full of, full of hippies. A magma. But hey, look at this. It's a beauty, man. How can you even be mad at this place? Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh look at it. Qué lindo, hermoso. Come on, baby. You can do it, man. It's for YouTube. We put Jews in a tube. I can't <laughs> Oh my god. And we shake it, shake no, it. No, 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 no. It's Are Baby Zito, go. It's Baby Zito's first bridge, suspended bridge. He's like, this is nothing. I do this in my dreams every night. But uh, it's beautiful here. It's beautiful here, huh? Okay. But there's people that live on the water there, eh? They're just camping. Prohibito. You could die, but it's pretty nice. What do you think about this? Oh, this is scary. It's but it's exciting too. It's very exciting, huh? Baby. What? My heart is beating so fast. I'm so <laughs> it's a beautiful place. There's lots of... There's kind of... Would you spend a week here? <laughs> I don't want to spend any minutes anymore. <laughs> yeah. Enzo loves it. He's laughing. No, nah, I don't know. I think this would be a nice, uh, like a Port Dover kind of place. To spend like a, a weekend, a long weekend here, camping by the river, or and you got lots of things to do. We got white water rafting somewhere close. We can shake the bridge all night. But uh, yeah, what are we doing? Come back, please. Let's go have a coffee drink, huh? Yes, please. I want to leave and then see the two. <laughs> please, please. We are being safe. So, we're just chilling here in Puente Colgante, eh? This was called Colgante. Yes. And uh, we're just gonna have a, a nice little coffee with a beautiful view of the mountains, the hillside. Stuck in the Andes. We're gonna start eating people alive out here. Like the movie, eh? You want to? 
Whose ass do I eat first? Any of you guys. Any of you guys, tell me which ass I want to eat. But uh, what did we order? Uh, coffee with milk and a cake for me and yeah. a croissant for you. A mafalda. A mafalda. It's a croissant that is sweet usually with cheese, jamon and queso. <laughs> jamon and queso and uh, with his cheese and ham in English. And uh, that's it. I don't know, we're waiting for our coffee to get here. And it's it's just nice, I'm burnt up. I'm burnt up like a lobster out here. But uh, look at this place, man. It's kind of cool. This place, I don't think this place has a name actually, does it? Yeah, it's called, uh, it's called Cha Cha. It's called Cha Cha. We'll go look inside, huh? Why not? We'll go look inside here. This is a nice little abode here. And it's kind of nice, huh? Has everything. Even Jesus' mom. We'll go look everywhere. Who the fuck is that sexy guy? And look at here. Beautiful little backyard. It's nice here. You can get all the liquor you want. Come to Cha Cha. You can get liquored up and drunk quicker. Ah. We're going to sit down and wait for our coffee now, I think. And Mickey's breastfeeding Enzo. What is new, huh? What is new, huh? We're at Cha Cha and he's getting milk. That's it. That's life. That's a baby. Oh, it's been a beautiful family uh, day. So, well, how would you rate this in the Mendoza uh, catalog? A must. A must, eh? This is a must for sure. Because she went to the other one, the Hondo. Hondo. Termas de Rio Hondo and, and Termas de Federación. And what do you think? This one's the best by far? This one is the, yes. The but, view is amazing. And just everything. You don't feel sick in the water. Cause, and it doesn't smell. No. And it's it good. Smell. Uh, and this, you have a lot of swimming pools. Yeah, it's like, here's my advice. What do you guys want to do when you come to Mendoza? Do you want to go? You got to go on vi the vineyards. You got to go on a vineyard tour. I don't care. A bodega. See the bodegas. It's worth your time. Uh, you get drunk and you eat gorgeous steak. That's that's up there. And then this one is perfect if you want to just relax, chill, and just take it easy. You know what I mean? From life's uh, heartaches and hardships. But um, yeah, this one, this one. Uh, the Andes one was pretty good too, because you got the you got to go in the Andes mountains, the alt like the montañas or whatever. Yeah. And it was like you got to see the broken train stations and. Uh, you have uh, a view from uh, uh, Aconcagua. A Aconcagua. 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 Is it yeah, it's the tallest mountain tallest in all mountain. of Americas. Every America, middle, north, south, you got it. Uh, so that was a that was a pretty good trip, but that one that one would have to be a third place for me. But, cause these ones are just that damn good. Uh, don't get me wrong, the Andes Mountain one was amazing. But this, these two are just like unreal. It's like, well, probably, like this is like a nice place. You get to have a natural hot springs in the middle of nothing and t fucking the mountains. It's crazy, man. It's kind of cool. You yeah? imagine when it's snowy and the water's still hot. How cool is that, eh? That's what I'm picturing. And tomorrow we got another excursion which is um, we're going to see the Grand Canyon, but South America's side. The Grand Canyon, we all know around the world is the one in the States, but these guys have a Grand Canyon. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's supposed to be uh, brilliant too. This one, tomorrow will be a 14 hour trip. So that's gonna last all day and some. So I think uh, this is what we did for this trip. What we did is um, we actually uh, booked the hotel and everything ourselves, the bus ride ourselves. And then we came out and we did we did all the excursions ourselves. So the way Puerto Madryn worked is we booked it through a tour company. And uh, you get, if you book it through a tour company in certain months, you get the next one for free. So that's pretty cool about it. But the only thing is you're kind of stuck with the, uh, you're kind of stuck with the uh, people that you left the tour with. So you're always with the same people. So you get on the bus, 10 seconds, take a picture. Get out of the bus, 10 seconds, take a picture. And it's just like, I found that they wasted so much time because <laughs> they wasted so much time because um, with the, uh, with everything, with just, with just like, they'd, they'd add these city tours. So it'd take longer amount of time. So it fills up space in your trip. And it's like, for one, the bus broke down. They promised us dinner. They didn't give it to us. They, uh, 
they kicked us out of our hotel because they said the hotel overbooked, but it's them, obviously. I never heard of a hotel overbooked and then they kick you out. You already paid. That doesn't happen, right? And uh, so that whole, what's the what's the name of that Puerto Madryn place that we went with? The excursion, like the tour guides. Uh, the excursion? No, Martin, like his company. Trece Senta. Don't go with those guys. Especially if you're a tour guide, Martin. I would not advise it. Nothing good came out of it. He's a salesman. He's a con artist to me. And I just didn't like the guy. I didn't like the whole excursion. And uh, you talk to a lot of the travel agents, they all have a problem with him. So that's that's a that's a tip. So don't go with Trece Sante. Trece Senta. Trece Senta. 360. 360. Don't go with 360. Because if you go with Trece Sesenta, they will you'll have a bad time that's my experience and this one we did ourselves and we had no tour guide nothing we experienced everything on our goddamn own and we loved it so that's my advice take it or leave it you know when you come in argentina depends what you like if you want to uh just do what everybody says and you you don't have the you, you're just here on vacation so you're like ah, oh, i don't want to do anything if you just pay the tour and they bring you everywhere that's fine but this is the same thing except for you get to do it on your own terms and that's what i like so we're still waiting for our dinner so we gotta see this this is easiestly the biggest cup of coffee i had here i think eh? it's big and what did you what are these that you ordered uh orange cake orange cakes so it's slice of orange and uh that's it i think we might actually after this we might go to mo's tavern they have a mo's tavern and we're gonna order duff beer uh, i don't know if they have duff beer there but I'm just assuming that they do. Uh, here you have sugar. I got sugar here too? No, that's diet that sugar. Oh, that's sweet. That's cheap sugar. And then we pour the sugar and... Mm. Damn, that lies. Oh, man. That's it, eh? Today was uh, not exhausting at all. She might be tired. She's always tired. <laughs> She's always tired. Too I tired, feel my tired. skin like. Ugh. What? You feel I your feel skin, my skin peeling off? She feels her skin like. Oh, like that, she says. Este es el show de Joe. Este no es tu show. Cambia que hago por el asado. Este es el show de Joe. Wow.